Howdy, I'm Michael Gorgio. It's Tuesday, October 27th. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. Lauren Scala is tracking roads and rails. Nice to have Lauren back. Yay, Storm Lauren. Team 4's Maria La Rosa is here with the weather headlines. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, Lauren, I think this weather's pretty much been the same since. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, mean, I know. Come on, right? <laughs> uh, we are talking about some patchy, dense fog, mist, drizzle, and light showers again. So let's start with the visibilities. Uh, a lot of spots that I'm seeing where it's most dense, less than a quarter mile, and that's the darker shades of the gray there from Central Jersey, Long Island, into Connecticut, so give yourself lots of extra time. I've said that I think every day since last week. But yes, the low clouds as you saw from the Staten Island Expressway. Some of the lighter showers, well to the north and west right now. But grab that umbrella on your way out the door. And like yesterday, temperatures stuck in the 50s, 58 right now at Central Park, 51 in Poughkeepsie. We've dipped down to 46 in Monticello, and just about a carbon copy of yesterday with some drizzle clouds early, especially mostly cloudy for the afternoon. We'll see 58 by 5 p.m. Still cloudy and 54 by 10 o'clock. All right, that is your forecast. Let's get an update from Lauren and how things are looking out there. Well, can you even see anything out there right now? Visibility, obviously not great uh, if you are headed out the door. There is an accident on the Garden State Parkway heading northbound by exit 131B, which is the Metro Park exit. That takes out two lanes. It's not causing much of a delay, though. And then over at the George Washington Bridge, really hard to see. Like I was just saying, uh, everything moving along nicely into the tolls here, but you do have construction on the inbound upper level. You have some outbound as well, but again, not causing a delay at the moment. Darlene, back to you. Okay, Lauren, thanks so much. 402 right now and happening today, new restrictions in Newark as the city deals with an alarming spike in COVID-19 cases. Officials are hoping these new rules will help curb the spread. Today